expectation. How do we deal with it? I have uh, made a video previously about expecting the unexpected. It's like a sign you can find on the board so that the people can be cautious about what can happen. Maybe the car may be coming out from the right or the you know the sheep may be popping up from the left or the pothole may be there. So every now and then we need to pay attention to the fact that uh, we are better prepared. And how we prepare it? That's basically one of the main features of so my talking into YouTube. If we assume everything and that everything can happen as you expect it, you know, that make you perhaps possibly miserable. <laughs> well, let's start from the younger days when kids have a toy and if it's break down, they are sad and cry. And the parents should tell them what's the reason and what need to be careful. If you are an adult, you may expect something, you get married with certain women or you get the job. And if it doesn't happen, you, your heart may be broken. When you accumulate some wealth, you expect the stock price to go up, but it may not, as in the case of the Great uh, Depression. And that expectation would cause you to be so miserable. When you're about to die, I don't know what will be the case. I, I haven't gotten there except that I had the um, near-death experience that I call it, uh, facing death. And I was somewhat prepared, I think. I had the video on that one. I said, when I was facing the possible death, I said, I don't have regret and I don't have much desire. So I was at peace. So in that case, I believe I was uh, cautious enough and I trained myself as if I'm facing death. And that happened two years ago. So because of that orientation that's related to the Zen practice, you know, you are learning to expect unexpected that something can happen like facing death and you can be relaxed. So compared to the example of a child or children, you know, losing that toy or breaking that toy or something doesn't go right, they cry. And then adult and on and on, we get sort of punished by not expecting the unexpected. And there are lots of suffering associated with it. So anything we like to crave for or you want to avoid, things can happen. So the religion or spiritual pursuit will prepare you for that. And in the, one of the video, at least one thing I remember, the one video I remember is that one of the preparation is to go with the nature, nature's way. The title of that video was melting into nature so that you are one with nature, be with nature, and not expecting anything. Just go with the flow. Or living in the now, present, is the same. And it's like living as a monkey or the fish <laughs> or lettuce, that you do whatever you can following the law of nature as you are programmed from the DNA and all the environment changes. And you may have a dry spell or too much rain if you are the lettuce, or you're in the forest as a monkey, you just accept because you don't think. Therefore, you can accept so that the training of being with nature or melting in the nature is living in the now and accepting everything. Spiritual undertaking is basically for us to Prepare for the unknowns so that you have more room to play with as opposed to be fixed in your mind.
expecting something to happen. And we go through that and it causes so much pain, therefore we and also our ancestors gave us the hint or way to address it. Religion is the part of the way because the mountain has at the volcano just erupted and something happened. The fear of the volcano or the tsunami came and they think well, it's the nature's way but uh, maybe something else like a god or if you did something things of that nature can happen as much as the children get upset or you can expect uh, Santa Claus to be coming to have some sense of uh, uh, reward if you obey a certain rule so whatever the case is we are going through various experiences and going back to my training in Zen and meditation what's my interest in why Zen for example you know I've been I have studied the Christianity and others but the more familiar one is Zen but I could understand Christianity that there's some comfort for us Basically, we can call God as nature, as far as I'm concerned, or the law of nature, the way things happen, beyond your control. So, there are various ways to accept that. Training, maybe meditation, focusing on breathing, or sensation in the body, and connecting to like a biofeedback, understanding how or the construct of human being can relate to those event so that for example your mind is rushing to do something then you lose connection to that biological feedback stomach is hurting but you move on whatever you need to do because of the work or the circumstance and then you suffer well your mind may achieve something but the body suffers so the balance is lost so I talked about the two universes one is universe we create in our mind and the other universe is the truth truth with the impermanence truth is impermanence that mind cannot uh, predict so when we say expect and expected it's as if to tell us human being that it's human's ego it doesn't work as you wish it to happen but for whatever reason we develop the mind brain and compared to the other animals or insect we benefited from that mind to communicate mind to analyze from the learning you can expect things to happen and that's the whole new game we develop by expecting and if you are successful maybe not 100% you have better chance of uh, surviving using the brain so that's what it is and that's how we get to here now the construct of that is not changing compared to years millions years of whatever tens of thousands of years ago we can expect something to happen better as a result we start to prevail live long and with more amenities compared to living like a monk in, in the rain or whatever the cold weather and the hot weather we can benefit a lot but at the same time, the construct of this mind and body or the brain and the nature's way, you know, there's a gap in between. Two universes, the mind universe and the reality, there's a gap. So the bottom line of this is we need to have that wisdom, the learn lessons to keep on 
working, no matter how much farther we go, that's at least as far as I can tell, that this impermanence exists. The human is not capable to go beyond. Okay, the prob probability may have increased, and then we can assume certain things, and then the culture is developed and all the amenities, you know, the flying around, nice vacation and all that, is made possible. And the TV would condition you, want you to expect a vacation like that, or wonderful house, or a nice car. But there's a limit because something would happen. The chance may be lower, but the competition among people behind, therefore, you may not be as achieved as others, and that may cause your suffering, and therefore, again, expectation of your skill and the reality of your skill. So all this construct of being human with a brain, and even though we have accomplished a lot, this is a never-ending story, and the competition and working with all the constraints, we keep getting the surprise. In just one day, I may have gone through, I don't know, maybe 20 surprises if I can count, and we can deal with it. Just the last one was the computer. I have two computers and I opened up and I felt like I did something because there's a flash of light and I thought, oh no, what happened? Then I remembered I was backupping, back up the computer by the time machine and the hard drive in the other computer because I have two of them and I haven't backed up for about three months and I thought, oh no, but I have the backup, you know, the redundancy of two computers, but there's only um, one hard drive to go with one computer but not the other. So I get a little scared and everything is okay. So in this case, expect that unexpected, I prepared, I'm okay. But who knows what can happen. So that's one of those 20 or so events, maybe more. You know, you forget something and you don't know where it is. That's part of the expectation and the reality is you're forgetting and therefore you, you have to retreat back. As you get older, this happens more. <laughs> And that's life. And, and, and the, that gives you opportunity of training going through this. And that's the connection of this two universe, mind universe and the reality universe and the impermanence that you have to face and the expectation that doesn't get man, uh, materialized. Never ending. It's a human saga or karma, whatever you call it. So, my interest of studying this meditation or other universe, which may be hidden underneath us in, as if in the deeper consciousness is down there, and we may not connect to that. But ideally, as we move forward, we need to find a connection of being nature or whatever that may go with it, you know, different universe. And being able to to see how the wisdom may be gained when you don't have the expected event to happen. Some unknown situation pop up and you get into trouble. So this religion or the spiritual thing will never end as far as we can live. And more you have a, a skill to connect to that, that will make your life easy and better prepare and uh, accommodate the situation well, including facing death or losing the computer disk or getting upset because something wasn't there. And one of the ex other examples I remember was that uh, there's an uh, e-file for the tax filing and then the federal the US government side was okay, but the California has new restriction. Maybe they had one before, but uh, I did, I could use it before, but now I couldn't because of this new restriction. 
So that caused trouble. And then I have to focus on my breathing and, you know, expect the unexpected so that they can rest it without getting upset. Upsetting is not helpful. Upsetting is unhealthy. And even though our construct would always give us such, you know, burdens or unexpected event, we are to find the way to go through in our life. And I don't think, no matter how much GNP you develop, well, maybe AI can do something about it, but that I think such a future is way beyond our imagination. And things can change, of course, expect unexpected. But the bottom line of this is that that's the skill. Don't be fooled about all the amenities and stuff like that because unknown things would hit you. Whether it's cancer or traffic accident or lost uh, computer disk or aging and uh, facing death, there are million, lots and lots of those unknown things waiting for us. So this game, if you I call it as a game of living, we need to learn the skill to play the game relating to the other universe. And I think that's just the basic message related to, and, you know, this, this word I use, the expect unexpected. But all the other videos that I've been producing or talking to myself to convince such that all the videos and the stuff that I talked about is a various way of us not losing the way of life so that we can be happy. One last thing I thought about today related to this is this is something I had imagined when I was maybe eight years old. I thought the, if you measure the happiness level, if there's a way to measure it, it may be like a, a one of those graph or a fluctuating stock market, like a price going up and down. There's a medium, or you can call it average, and the happy and unhappy, happy and unhappy, a little bit happy. So you can measure all the waves of your uh, happiness level, but what I thought that at the child time and now is a bit different because I think that intuition was correct, but when we are equipped with this new skill so that you don't get the suffering because you're focusing more on the suffering end because more of the happiness that goes back to the suffering. It's just a, a way of nature that the, if you're high, there's low. So as you learn the skill, you may not like what I'm going to say, but my sense is that your perturbation going up and down in daily life become much more smaller and more steady and more at peace. And you may still go up and down because of the unexpected event to happen, but still, if you go up too high, there's some kind of awareness that, ah, oh, this is a little bit careful I need to or if you go down and it seems like you can go down but you can stop it from overly uh, reacting to it but accepting it so going up and accepting and going down and accepting as reality as it is then you have much more flutter perturbation or the waves going up and down that's right I talked about the wave and ocean the wave is mind fluctuating. The ocean at the bottom is quiet. How to bridge the gap is the issue. But when you reach the gap, the wave becomes calmer and you are more closer to be connected to the being, the original being of who we are. The truth, the other universe is now within reach and you are connected more often than not. We still expect certain things to happen for the progression of the human to be happy. But we're not overly 
excited or anything. Just be realistic because of this relationship of what is going on in the mind and how it relates to the truthfulness of what the situation is. Maybe a long story and maybe I went through fairly quickly. I'm not sure if you could follow what I was talking about. But uh, if you find it interesting, please think about it. I'll try to figure out my point. And if you're interested, there are other videos connecting to, for example, having a calm and quiet mind that you can always assess the situation calm, with calm and quiet mind so that you don't lose the balance as much and live a good life. Thank you.